Hello again, my friends. Today we are going to learn how to create some raised text. Um, so I've got a design here and um, it, it's a really cool effect where the text looks raised. So let's get started. All right, so for this effect, I'm going to start by creating a, another page and I'm going to change the color for this page to white and I'm going to add some text and I'm just going to put each word on a different line and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger like this and I'm going to change the font and I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit okay let me just make that a little bit larger so you can see it okay I'm going to change the font color to purple and I'm going to go to effects now and I'm going to choose the shadow effect and for the first shadow, I'm going to select black. And what I'm going to do is I am going to turn up the transparency. And I'm going to set the direction um, close to or, or straight from the right. So you can see here it's moving up and I just want it to be straight. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to decrease the offset. Uh, to maybe like that and I'm, I'll just leave it like that for now um, now I'm going to take a copy of this and I'm going to try and place it right on top and for the copy I'm going to change the um, color of the shadow to white and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do the opposite of what I did with the black. So for the direction, I'm just going to shift that to the left. So it's at 75. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit to 95. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change the background color to black just so that I could see those differences, okay? Actually, sorry, I'm going to change it to purple. Okay, so what we can see now is that it's kind of a raised um, effect. Uh, we're seeing that uh, the text, it looks almost like an embossed effect. And you can tighten up um, the, the white and the black if you like. Um, so for example, if we can go back into effects, um, we can reduce the offset. Now, um, that is the white that I am reducing. And if we want, we can also reduce the offset on the black one. Okay, so it, it's all a matter of preference and what you like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. Um, that's the black, and I'm going to increase the blur. And I'm going to now go back to the white one which is this one and I'm going to do the same um, in effects. I'm going to turn up the blur and I'm 
I'm just going to change the offset a little bit like that. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to search for color corner. And I'm going to go to photos and I'm just going to scroll down. And these were the ones that I used. So um, I'm going to come here and I'm just going to select the yellow. And I'm just going to flip that around and bring that down here and just make that a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to select this one and just put that up in the corner there. And now I'm just going to push those two to the back to complete the effect. And there you go. And there is the raised text effect with a little bit of blurring and some color um, corner gradients. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, don't forget to press that like button. And if there's anything else that you want to see, please do leave that in the comments. Thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye, my friends.